Hello, doggies. What's going on? Free electric when the engine's on. <laughs> and before we top up the water. Yes. So we need to empty the water, oh. then top it up. But put it the AC on. <laughs> 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 maybe filming, but in this your job? <laughs> well, maybe, but you're doing it now, so yeah. quite happy for you to do it. And we're off. Where are we going today? We are going up to Napton Junction and we are turning left onto the Grand Union. Yeah. I had to think there for a minute. <laughs> Um, and we're going to do the three locks at Calcutt and hopefully get through Stockton locks as well, which is eight locks. So 11 locks in total? 11 locks in total, yeah. Is that seven, seven miles? Yeah, something like that. Snapped in narrow boats. We've got a huge fleet of higher boats, all different sizes. They're really they're quite nice actually. I, I quite like Napton's boats. I like the fleet. Yeah. I like these ones here with the big windows in. Oh yeah. So we're about to make the turn. And there's another boat, so we need to wait and find out which direction they're going in first. We'll certainly slow down. Break through the clouds <laughs> and warm me up. I'm so cold. Chilly. <laughs> so we've just lost who we thought was going to be our boating partner. Um, somebody else in the lot waiting for us. Somebody, him. yeah. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait and go down on our own. But we do need water, so I think. So we do that. We do that and have some breakfast. There's a water point somewhere, so we need to find it. Is that it over there? I think it's on this side. As we entered the lock pound, a wide beam was coming through the bottom lock, so both narrowboats pulled to the side to allow it plenty of room to manoeuvre. Now it probably would have been better for it to have used the other side of the pound, but unfortunately the skipper got his angles wrong and lost control. Once this happens, it's so big that there's little he could have done to regain his line. This all happened so slowly, he was just waiting for the inevitable to happen. The wide beam bumped us twice and the guys were very apologetic, and probably a tad embarrassed, and luckily no damage was caused. That was enough excitement for one day and you can probably guess at what the conversation was between all the narrow boats in the lock.
lovely old working boats. I told you about that, I like that. It's a lot of shape in that. You like the ones that dip and come back yeah, up, do don't like you? Dip, yeah. These ones are lovely as well. Yeah. I'd have one of these. It's really pretty. Morning. Now I was right to put my shorts on. The sun's come out now. So he's feeling all very proud of himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, see those locks with Bill? I didn't catch her name. I uh, couldn't ask her with Bill. Is Lovely he, boat as well. It's easier to natter when you're in the locks because you you're right side next by to side. each other. You're not other. doing anything, you're doing all the work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we managed to pick up a couple of uh, volunteer lock keepers as well, didn't we? So yeah. they helped us through the last few. Yeah. So we managed eight locks in under an hour there. Yeah, that's good. So really Flew good. down there. And it's beautiful Blue. down here. Especially going two by two. You've been alright there. We did. It's always nerve wracking, but I quite enjoyed it actually. Right, that's us in Long Newtonson. The village with seven pubs. We really want one. We really want one, yeah. As it's bank holiday, I think we'll have to. Yes, and we've been recommended to go to one that we didn't go to last time, so yeah. um, we'll take a walk down there, but we're going to walk dogs for a bit, since it's beautiful a nice sunshine. Day. <laughs> go to the shop. Get some bits for tea tonight, and then go to the pub, have a pint. And that's the day. And that's the day. I'm just out walking the dogs this morning <clears throat> and uh, this section of the towpath is amazing. It's all concreted as you can see behind me and it forms part of um, a cycle track. Um, so it's not actually Canal and River Trust that have um, tarmacked these towpaths. Um, it, they get funding from sutrans mainly um, that form part of the cycle tracks. Now um, a lot of people say that it creates race tracks um, for speeding cyclists. We've not actually seen any cyclists on this route, route at all since we've been moored here. But it is great to be able to moor along stretches like this, um, especially in the winter months and when it's been really wet like it has been, because um, it means you're not mooring up against churned up mud. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if it wasn't for this funding, um, the towpaths wouldn't be like this. Now, obviously you wouldn't want all towpaths to be like this, um, but uh, yeah, it makes it so much easier. So I'm gonna enjoy walking the dogs down this little stretch of nice, clean tarmac towpath. Rosie, come on. So I'm just approaching where the towpath stops and uh, the cycle track goes off up in another direction. And I'm just going to show you what the towpath then becomes. This is the start, as you can see here, of it just going back to normal and all muddy and puddly. And I know from running up there the other day that uh, there's a bit where there's actually a, direct, a, a, a diversion through the wooded side bit <laughs> because it's just completely impassable. So. My uh, my naughty dog, come here, Ralph. Come here, sit down, sit down. <sighs> Tell everybody what you've been doing, Ralph. You've been naughty, haven't you? He's been a bad boy. Why have you been a bad boy, Ralph? Good Ralph likes to roll around in stuff. That doesn't smell very nice, don't you, Ralph? Oh dear. So he's now gonna get a shower. You're gonna get a shower, Ralph, smell all nice. Yes, yes you are, aren't you? He's a good boy. Let's go and get a shower. Come on. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Good boy. He's a good boy, he's a treat. I'm not a big believer in showering dogs, 
but sometimes you just have to, especially with Ralph because he does like to roll around in stuff. I'm not saying Rosie and Ralph love the shower, but they do love all the treats that they get given. So the secret is to have lots of treats and loads of old towels to wrap over them, especially before they do the big body shake. And with Rosie being a little lady, she always gets a little blow dry right at the end. Are you clean little doggies? Do you smell nice and fresh? Be smelly again tomorrow, nice and smelly. Good doggies. So we're off. I love the little mooring here. Yeah. With the uh, nice towpaths. <laughs> <laughs> Which are a blessing. Yeah. Some of them are atrocious. Yeah. No, it's a real, it's quite a miserable day. Yeah, it's not the best. No, it's been chucking down overnight. So we don't, we wouldn't normally be moving, but today we've got to go shopping. Because we need some food. Yes. We've got to eat. <laughs> Can't have beans on toast every day. <laughs> we've got an empty fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we need to stock up. So we're going to cruise down. We've got 11 locks to do today. Yeah, 10 miles. It's not 10, it's about 6 or 7. It's 10, I counted it this morning. Alright, okay. And it's 6 miles! <laughs> Watch the end, you'll understand this. <laughs> um, and then we've got the hat and fly on the weekend, but it's going to be really windy. Now what we could do is just sit still <coughs> for a few days. But then we wouldn't be able to do the, the hat and flight till Wednesday. So you're just going to be sat there with your engine on charging your batteries you might as well keep on moving um, when you can well as long as it's safe to do so so yeah. we'll we'll just have to call it at the weekend see how yeah. see how the weather's looking uh, it could change yeah so, so let's get chugging yes let's go so even though the Grand Union has white locks and is a white canal effectively this is about as far as they can go you wouldn't get one round there no obviously so they must have put that in yeah, I think so. Somebody said that to us the other day, actually. Hang on, Rose, what's happening? Well, I'm checking if you were right or wrong, <laughs> but you're, you're wrong. So one mile, two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles, six miles, and there's the aqueduct, seven miles, which is what I said. That's right, and then to the bottom of Hatton Flight. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, nine and a half. Yeah. <laughs> nine and a half. But only, only nine to Cape Locks, but... You want to go off the bridge, yeah? That'll be handy. You can. What to do? Well, there's either a boat going up or down in. Anyway. Easy a bit. Lovely two paths. I don't know why we just dropped her off, actually, <laughs> because I've got to moor up. So that was a bit of a waste of time. Shh, don't tell her. So I'm just approaching Basscoat Locks, and the first two locks are actually a set of staircase. So the bottom locks of the top lock, bottom gates of the top lock, become the top gates of the bottom lock. So the top lock fills the bottom lock. I think I got that right. <laughs> But there's a boat in the lock at the moment coming up, so we're going to have to moor up and we'll just wait for him to come out the lock. So there's a boat in the lock down there and we're going to come into the staircase and they're going to go into the bottom lock and we're actually going to pass in the lock. So we'll see how this goes.
Okay. Yeah. This beautiful little boat is an old icebreaker and it's over 65 years old and the owners have kept it in really good condition. I think she wants to be walking with you. <laughs> Do she? Yeah. Okay, so we're just coming through Leamington Spa. And what we did, we watched our vlogs from last year. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we knew what to expect. <laughs> so, and we know exactly where to moor up. Yep. And where we're going later on as well. Where are we going later on? The Cape of Good Hope pub, I think. We didn't go last year, so we decided we want to go this time. And that's what I said this morning, wasn't it? Yeah, but he's changed the, his mind. So we were originally <laughs> going to moor up at the aqueduct, but we decided to press on. So we're going to moor up just around this corner um, because there's a little right next to the towpath. So we're going to go and do a bit of shopping, um, get a few bits, get something for lunch because I'm starving. <laughs> and then, She's always starving. She needs to eat more. Yeah. She's wasting away. <laughs> she actually couldn't open a lock gate earlier. Oh, honestly, got, I've got been no really. On you anymore. I, no, it's just I've been struggling because by this time last year we'd done all the way down to nearly Brentford and back again. So we'd done like over two hundred double, double locks. locks. But this year, um, I haven't done any. I mean, well, I have done some now, but hardly any. So. And you did it. You did it. It is like a workout, isn't it? It's very looking, much like a workout. They're you're so, looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I was. I had <laughs> defined <laughs> muscles last year and this year. I'm wasting away. So hopefully I'll get them back again. My days of defined muscles are well gone. <laughs> Not that I had them. <laughs> <laughs> but hoping to get any. No. <laughs> so we're going to press on, get to the shops, do the shopping, and then more up and hopefully go to this pub and see what it's like. Yeah, so we'll see you in a bit. Toodaloo! And there's Little. Could not be more convenient. I'll just bring the trolley up to here. And give me a call. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll see me anyway, won't yeah. you? Yeah. So. All right. All right. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. I'm coming for you. I mean, how good is that <laughs> for stacking up? We've got about a lot, a lot, a few couple of weeks worth at least till we need to have another big shop. Yeah. So that is brilliant. Yeah, I'm really chuffed for that. Right, let's get this packed away. That's my job then. And get chugging. Yeah. Once we got all the shopping put away, we carried on our journey. It'd been a long day, and was both really looking forward to a nice pint at the Cape of Good Hope. So we've got one more lock to do at Cape, and as you can see, the towpaths are atrocious. They're absolutely flooded. And we really hope the ones above this lock are okay. Uh, so we wanted to moor just up here, but it looks like it's full. It's now five o'clock and it's started to rain. And there we are down there. <laughs> so we might have to start the hat and flight and do the and more up in one of the pounds. <laughs> Fun and games of boat life. 
Why do we do it? <laughs> well, we've not had to start the Hatton Lock. For sale, one boat. <laughs> we've not had to start the Hatton Lock, so I was a bit premature. There was actually space at the end of the line of moored boats, but um, it's muddy and puddly, and we would never normally moor up somewhere like this, would we? And what we've done, we've moored just near um, a bridge, so we can very quickly walk the dogs up onto the main road and walk them around concrete estates yeah. for a day uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do now so yeah there's a famous pub down here the cape of good hope yeah. public house okay and there's some history behind that so i know i said we weren't going to say it we're going to <laughs> but we're going we to are. tell you oh my yes we most definitely are going to the pub we are going to the pub yeah but we're going to walk the dogs first tidy up yeah um and maybe uh, have a little change of clothes i'm not i'm going as i am oh She's a boater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, not normally where we'd be, but at least we didn't have to start the Hatton flight. So. Come on, sunshine. Where are you? I know. <sighs> One day. We made it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Are you going to do your hair? Done. Yeah. Right. Let's crank it. I oh know. no, we don't crank it. Robbie cranks it. <laughs> Let's get chugging. Let's get chugging. We chug. We chug. Oh, they're horrible, are they? It, if they looked nice, it would almost be excusable. <laughs> but they don't. But they don't. He's not even relaxing. Cruise down, we've got 11 locks to do today. Yeah, 10 miles. It's not 10, it's about 6 or 7. It's 10, I counted this morning. Alright. Oh, so let's say that again. It's not. <laughs> Take I two. counted it last night. Yeah, 10 miles. I counted it last night. Oh, 16 kilometres. No. I, count, I just counted it this morning. Well, we'll, we'll, to, we'll to confirm of, later. To the bottom of Hatton Lock. We're not going to the bottom of Hatton Lock. We are. We are. No, we're not. I thought we were. We're mooring up at the aqueduct. To get the shopping and then moving down. No, we're mooring up at Little to get the shopping. And then we're mooring up at the aqueduct. And then on Friday, when I finish work, we'll, moor, we'll go down to Cape of Good Hope. Otherwise, it's, it's 15 locks. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so, we're going to the aqueduct. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, join us as we go through Leventon Spa. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>